Here's everything you need to know about Next.js 13. The biggest change is the introduction of the app directory, which is the new home for all your routing. Now, instead of creating individual files in the pages directory, you're going to create folders for different routes within the app directory. Each folder is a route and within each folder you have a page.js file that serves as the unique UI for that route. In addition to the special page.js file, Next.js 13 also introduces the layout.js file. A layout is a UI that is shared between multiple pages. Each folder within the app directory can have a layout.js file that wraps a page. At the root level, the layout.js file wraps the whole app and takes in children. This is useful for creating shared UI that you need throughout the whole app, like a navbar or footer. Next.js 13 also introduces the ability to combine client and server components when rendering your app. Every component you make in the app directory defaults to being a server component, meaning that HTML is pre-rendered on the server before being sent to the client. However, you can also make any component a client component by marking it with the text Use Client. This comes in handy when you want to use hooks like useState or useEffect. The best part about this is that you can mark server components as async, which makes data fetching much faster and easier to do. Fetching data on a server component also has the benefit of having direct access to your backend and keeping your application more secure by preventing sensitive information such as access tokens and API keys from being exposed to the client. On top of fetching data through a server component, you also have the ability to decide if you want to have static or dynamic data fetching. Many sites, like blogs, don't change much once they are accessed by a user, and you may not want to make repeated calls to your database. With the new revalidate function of Next.js 13, you can tell a component how often to revalidate and update a given component. This lets you decide how static or dynamic to make any component. Next.js 13 also brings with it streaming, which is the ability to break up your page into chunks and display components as soon as they are ready on the server. This allows some parts of a page to load faster and others to show up as soon as they are loaded. You can utilize this using the loading.js special file. Finally, Next.js 13.2 introduced metadata to help improve SEO for your site and get those sweet, sweet views from ranking better on the gatekeeper of the internet, aka Google. Google? Google? Metadata can be used in any page.js or layout.js file, but it's only supported in server components. That's everything you need to know about the new features in Next.js 13. It's still not production ready, but it's getting there. This has been a deep dive by FullStackMD. See you guys in the next one. Peace.